up? Sex Gunishman X, putting out my latest Men of War video. I had a lot of requests recently from people wanting me to check out Men of War Vietnam, which is the latest in the Men of War series. I was reluctant to be honest, but I took the plunge and I've now got it. So this is my first map in Vietnam, basic mission as you can see here. I've got a US force who are leaving their base, three Hueys, two tanks, one artillery piece and around 100 troops. Their mission is to just progress up this main road through the jungle and try and take this objective, this ruins, this uh, area here where the Viet Cong have set up a position. They've got two AA guns and multiple squads of troops. Now the Viet Cong are also littered all around the jungle but on both sides of the road. So the idea is, is that this is essentially a nice ambush mission. Uh, the US forces are going to get picked off as they move up the road. So my mission in I'm controlling the US. My mission is just to can get them up the rows and take that key objective. Um, so this video, this is going to be a commentary because again I've had quite a few requests from people what it means to just put out commentaries as well as the uh, the more cinematic videos I do with the Men of War stuff. So this is going to be a pure commentary mission and also it's also going to be a bit of a review. I'm going to use this video as, an, as a chance to review Men of War Vietnam. From the outset I want to make it clear that this is the first time I've played Vietnam, this is the first mission I've made, so this is all very new for me. Most of it's just like Men of War though, uh, right down to the sound effects in fact, which I noticed almost straight away. So I'm interested with how the Shuey's work, with how the helicopters have been new, introduced into Vietnam. Um, first thing I've noticed here is that I don't, I don't know if it is it just me, I'm not too sure I like the movement of the helicopter, it looks a bit odd, it doesn't really look like it's hovering. It just looks like it's paused in mid-air. It would, would have been nice to see it look like it was naturally hovering over a location. Maybe a bit of an animation issue, that. Anyway, uh, and also it looks like I can move my camera through the ground, which is a shame. But anyway, I'm just moving up my US squads here. Squads of 8 to 9 guys, M16s, M60s, M14s. And what I want to do, uh, I've not had any contact yet, but I just want to move them up and maybe just set up some defensive lines around this roadside so they, they can cover the flanks and then, then I can move my two tanks up so this is precisely what I'm doing here and I've noticed some enemies so we've got a squad of vehicle troops up there on that hill and the AI took a while to respond there a bit odd I don't usually see that in Men of War but anyway um, yep so we've got some conflict here First thing I've noticed is it's very hard to tell what's going on, but that's obviously what Vietnam essentially was. It was it was a cannibal-based battle. Uh, lots of tree lines, lots of foliage. Very difficult to see where the enemy was. So I'm, I'm immediately realising that it's it's not open field territory. This this is dense jungle. So I've got multiple squads of Viet Cong here coming at me from two angles. They seem to have appeared from the bushes. They were well hidden. I'll, I'll give them that. Um, so I've got about three or four US squads trying to engage them and I'm opening up with the Huey there, rocket attack in the hope that I can maybe just prevent them from bringing reinforcements in over that cliff top um, may have proved effective pretty devastating move that, new rocket strike so I'm putting my Huey back so I've noticed he's getting shot up there some AK-47 rounds coming up, just bouncing off the, uh, bouncing off the, the chopper so I'm putting that chopper back because I don't want to see that get taken down yet. I've got two more in reserve though, but they're pretty valuable assets. Uh, getting a bit confused with the controls here. I tried to pull him out and he suddenly came back. So there we go. But yeah, a lot of combat going on here. So the Viet Cong, they seem to have flanked me on the left. Um, they've killed a couple of my squads by the looks of it. I don't think I've got many troops actively left over there now. So that initial wave I sent forward pretty much been killed off. So yeah, fired that artillery shot there. That was probably a bit of friendly fire by me there. I think I may have killed one of my last remaining survivors. Or well, there might be one or two left. Uh, just a bit of poor artillery shot that by me. Just a bit of a last stand attempt. So the Huey is getting shot up to shit. So I need to pull him out. Again, that hovering animation is really annoying me. Very it's a real shame they didn't make that look better, I must say. Uh, 
So I'm bringing in my second Chewy to fuck him up with rockets because he doesn't need to reload. They just two apparently. So that hopefully smashed the Viet Cong on that tree on that tree line. And now he's getting shot up. Lots of enemies in those trees. So I'm putting both choppers out. And firing enough artillery shot just for good measure. Boom. Pretty effective howitzer that. Good position for it. I've got a good arc of fire. So I need to just now bring my squads in. I'm also going to move one of my tanks forward. It's a medium tank. There aren't any heavy tanks in this game. Which I was a bit disappointed by. But then again saying that. In historical terms. There really weren't any heavy tanks after World War II. Because the concept of a heavy tank is pretty obsolete now, isn't it? It's all about the medium battle tank, and that was a craze, it's a trend even that started really in Vietnam. So we've got light tanks, uh, medium tanks even, moving it, moving it forward, and bringing the artillery in as well. So that's chopped up that Viet Cong squad. So there's now some action on the right flank. I'm bringing up the map there on the top left, as you can see. So there's a lot of enemy forces ahead. Big build up on the right, so I need to rocket strike them with the Huey. Nice Apocalypse Now style move. Putting him back again. And sending in my second one for a further strike, but he hasn't reloaded yet. That's, that's frustrating. I'm not sure if it's a limited ammo issue that. I'm just very slow to reload. So my tank has moved out off the road into the bushes. And I don't want to get him too far ahead because he can quite easily get taken out by an RPG round. So I need to be careful here. So there's vehicle all over the shop by the looks of it. Um, multiple, sh multiple AK positions. Looks like AKs. Just perhaps a machine gun here and there. So I need to just get in there with my infantry. So the M16's here, nice assault rifle action. Oh, now these Viet Cong dudes both, both sides of the road. So, you know, almost 10 minutes into this battle, I haven't even actually, effectively, I haven't really left my spawn area yet. So, not going that well, frankly. Uh, the helicopters, I think, are going to prove pretty decisive for me here. And it does make you realise that even when you've got vastly superior tech and numbers dudes hiding in bushes of AKs still usually have the advantage so enough a rocket strike, nice nice strafe run there now I need to pull that Huey out because he's going to get shot up oh no, maybe not I'm going to go and take a little sneak peek at my objective which looks like miles away at this stage um, and the AI haven't reacted Oh, they have now. So I'm getting shot up. So there's two AA guns there, two heavy machine gun positions. Oh shit. Okay, got a bit too cocky there. Chopper down. So that's one team down, and two left. Take long either. So I've got these guys stirred up now. So back on the other side of the map. So using my uh, second Huey. I'm um, going to try and do another strafing run. Uh, my tank, so you know, I've crept forward slightly here, but it's very tough, very formidable terrain this. Well, oh, one of my tanks has shot ahead there, forgot to uh, set the AI to uh, hold, so he's automatically decided to be a hero, drive up that main road. So he's got Viet Cong all over him, yes, sir. looks like they're going to try and plant a grenade or something on him, I need to pull that tank back. So we've got up to the river here effectively, and judging by the map it looks like I've wiped out the Viet Cong on the right flank, and there's a couple left on the left, but it's now really just about crossing this river. So I've gained some ground. Uh, my immediate impressions of this game by the way are that, from an edi editing perspective, it's not particularly good, uh, because th the editor only just launched, and very few maps, very few um, vanilla base maps you can use. There's only about 10 maps, unlike with Men of War and Men of War Assault Squad where you get 
almost 100 really um, because you get the multiplayer maps and the single player in this there aren't any multiplayer maps in the editor unless I'm doing something wrong if I am somebody uh, please mention it but from what I can tell there's only 10 single player levels and they all consist of jungles basically which uh, don't get me wrong I know that that's what Vietnam was but uh, not much variety is what I'm saying um, anyway so enough of rocket strike boom 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 nice that probably proves quite decisive actually because they were launching some kind of counter strike across that river I had to pull my two tanks back so now I'm launching a, a bit of a, a repulse um, bring in a couple more US squads forwards I need to try and hold that river position that that cross crossing uh, the Viet Cong all over it though both sides of the road so I just need to gun on gun them Prez would say, and we've got a situation here where I can't actually see sweet FA because there's so much foliage. Um, so it gives you a kind of on the ground feel, really, of what it's like to try and shoot guys hiding in dense jungle. Uh, it picks off there one by one, really. Not much luck. So this squad's gone up. Shit. And then they got bars I've noticed. I don't know if that's I guess that's historically accurate. This is burning Vietnam. Uh, so we've got a Viet Cong dude in that crater, a sniper. Pretty effective position. There he is. Just picking my men off. And we've got some reinforcements coming across the river and we've got multiple AK dudes across the river. So we've got a real formidable presence here at the moment. And the Viet Cong have really got a good, good defensive position. I need to try and flank them here on the right. I think we've got some guy hiding in a bush there. It looks like he's a machine gunner. Fire and what I want to do is try and get some grenades in here. So we've got him. So I'm taking over, doing some manual shooting here. Not particularly effectively. Uh Made out, there we go. Crazy, can't tell what's going on. But no, I'd, going back to what I was saying about the maps in Vietnam, I would like to have seen a couple more maps that were a little just, I don't know, just a little different. I mean, there are a few kind of river based maps, and then there's, there's a couple that are airport based. So it's not all just jungle, but um, put it this way one of the reasons I was not particularly keen to buy Vietnam in the first place was because I knew really that the maps would all be very very similar uh, you know what I like about the World War two era uh, well was because it was a such a mammoth war it, it essentially it went on on every front you can imagine and therefore lots of variety in uh, map making and editing so I'm getting shot up here again I've kind of taken them out on the right flank but they're still all over that river um, I've lost that, those squads I sent forward, they've been picked off one by one, I've only got a well maybe it looks like I've got two guys left there now and the Viet Cong are pushing ahead trying to gain some ground back so I'm pulling him back um, I'm gonna tr it looks like I lost a chopper there, that must have been some kind of crash that's a bit annoying um, at least he didn't crash and blow up one of my tanks I guess but uh, not quite sure how that could have happened, that's a bit strange, but anyway. So I've got one chopper left now, one Huey. So, bringing in the UH-1, moving him up. And the tank, sending one tank forward, I'm not sending both. And I'm going to try and rocket strike them, there we go. Boom, that's how it's done. That is how it's done, clear the way. Air cab. Jolly Green Giant. So there we go, pulling him out. So that's the uh, remains of that area after that nice little rocket strike. I look like that devastated the uh, Viet Cong by the looks of it. There aren't many left there now. So I'm, li you know, my forces are still relatively strong. I mean, I've lost around two thirds of my infantry, though. I've noticed that much. So 
well not two thirds, maybe a third even. Uh, so I c can't be too cocky now because I need I need the numbers to gain any ground here. It's very difficult to uh, to proceed. Uh, enemies popping up all over the shop. So there's still guys here, but the tank should be able to deal with them, mop it up. And I think I'm finally eight in a position right across the river. So that's good news. Tanks move slightly differently in this game as well. I can't quite put a finger on it, but they don't move as fluidly as Men of War Assault Squad. Um, they they don't turn on their axis, if that makes sense. They turn like a car would, which is very odd. don't really understand why. Uh, but anyway, it's not a big deal. So I need to bring my uh, ground troops in now try and gain some grounds to try and uh, start holding positions. I'm going to send in my second tank. And then what I'm also going to do is just bring in a number of uh, squads just so I can gain some ground on this river. And from the map I've pretty much cleared now this side of the river so half the battle has been has been won. and sneaking through the foliage here so I've got a number of uh, mixed units here I kind of mix my squads when I create these missions I like to have uh, a variety of weapons it may not necessarily be realistic to be honest uh, but, but I'll put some guys on the block here looks like the remnants of a squad there's only one or two guys left there not a problem but anyway, I, I like to mix up my weapons. I like to have got machine gunners running with, usually with snipers and medics and officers, just to get everyone in. Now, I'm gonna make a move on my objective here because it looks like the coast is clear for me to launch an assault. It's, it's uh. It looks like it is around 30 guys defending it and they've got those two AA guns which they can use against the tank. So I need to be careful about how I approach this. I'm going to send in a squad on the left flank and I'm going to use the tank to, to supply, provide uh, support, support uh, covering fire. Um, I'm also going to send a second squad in up just up the middle. So the tank has pretty pretty much uh, been the main reason why I've been able to proceed I think I mean obviously with the, the Huey rocket strikes have been quite decisive as well but the tank has uh, has certainly allowed me to to gain ground again I don't like the way I can move my camera onto the map like that you, that wasn't possible in Men of War anyway uh, my uh, so my squad's getting chewed up here the, they've got no cover uh, probably my fault but uh, yeah, they've been eaten up, so that's enough of US squad down. But I've still got my squad on the left flank, so I'm going to just proceed with plan for now. Um, the tank is pretty safe. Uh, I've got some reserves moving in. I just need to get up close to this position so they can use the walls as cover, because at the moment they've got no cover. And the Viet Cong have got plenty of it. And as you can see, in terms of numbers it looks like I've got enough really to to finish them off now so I can uh, I can roll in more more troops but I want to try and do this with as few troops as possible just as a uh, sort of personal thing but no I'm sending in my chopper fuck em. let's do this in style again that hovering is just annoying me it kinda looks like it just pauses in mid air it's a bit of a shame that uh, yeah, rocket strike did a, did a bit of damage, but ah oh, no, I completely screwed that up. Um, took out one of the AA guns, but not the second one. Hovered around like a loser, and then got shot up. So that's that's it. I got no more chopper support. All three Hueys are down. So I've still got this tank. He is in a good position. Unlike in Men of War, the Viet Cong don't seem to be interested in throwing grenades at tanks, I'm not sure if that's just just hasn't happened to have happened yet or if that's just an AI issue, I don't know, but 
I don't know, the AI seems to behave slightly differently in this. It, it might just be a, 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 a purely a, a chance thing though. It's hard to tell sometimes. I need to try and flank because I need to try and take out this AA gun. Uh, the tank hasn't got a shot on the AA gun because there's too much rubble in the way. There's no clear line of sight. So what I need to do is move in my infantry. But there's still Viet Cong in that courtyard by my by my down chopper. So I'm still getting shot up. Pretty frustrating this because there's only about five or six guys left now. I just want to finish this now. So the tank can't gain ground. He can't get up there. So I need to get my troops in. I need to. There's only really one way into this into this site. It's that main main portico. So I need to get my guys back down. And they're just sh sh getting chewed up. There's two vehicle guys there. A bunch of bitches. So I need to get my tank. See, this is why I get frustrated now because the. The, the canopy environment's just annoying me, I can't really see what I'm doing. But uh, fair enough, because you know it's challenging terrain, it's a, it's it's not a problem for me, I can I can do this. So I can get I'm like, moving my guys in here, they're getting slightly closer. Very very good position that AA gun's got. N not much I can do with the tank. I need to just keep chewing up the cover. So I'm bringing my guys around to that, that gateway. Hopefully this will prove a little bit more successful. And there's a bonus to this to this mission I've made. So it's a slight little additional feature. Um, I've set it so there's an ambush, a uh, Viet Cong ambush on me uh, once I capture this objective. So once I've got my dudes in here, we should see a nice AI reaction and some reinforcements coming in so I'll have to try and defend this position if it works we'll soon find out so pulling my tank back he, he's in a good position now to engage that AA gun uh, back on the other side of the map I'm just bringing in my forces further reinforcements which I will need quite desperately now AA gun's still alive, really frustrating me now. Very good position he's in, can't really be flanked. He's pr being uh, protected by the bidder on both sides, literally. But no longer, I think I think the crew's finally dead. But what I can do is I can take over that gun now because it may prove uh, may prove helpful. There was still a guy there. Jesus. No, oh, he's dead now. So the builder's lost his head. So Yep. We've got we've got a position now where we've taken the ground, there's no more troops, so I'm I'm now just gonna bring in my units to uh hold this hold this ground. Taken over, over the gun. Weird, pop, weird position. It, well, good position, but a uh, bit of an AI glitch there. It's easy to run around the gun and not get on it. But anyway, so well, I need to just stack them up on walls. Yeah, in a, in about I don't know a minute, we should see some kind of Viet Cong ambush, which will be interesting. Uh, battle went pretty well. Um, I lost more units than I was expecting, if I'm honest. Uh, got a bit messy by that river, but uh, it was all dealt with in the end. Uh, bit of a shame I lost all three choppers, though. I wasn't expecting that, but that was down to my own own uh, lack of experience using air assets in Men of War. To be honest, I never really touched them in Assault Squad. Or well, the obviously you only get the yeah, P51 I think. So, bringing in my troops. Uh, if you're on the fence about buying this game, by the way, I I would recommend buying it when it's a bit cheaper. I got it on Steam today, and it was uh, 
that's in pounds sterling so in, in dollars that's about forty dollars maybe slightly less so it's quite pricey to be honest considering it's only essentially ten maps so here we go we've got my little nice little generated AI reaction stroke trigger ambush whatever you want to call it fifty guys moving in in force they're all coming from the same direction though um, so I need to um, well I need to just shoot them I, I'm not going to try and attack them I've got, I've got good cover here uh, my tank's been hit so tank tracks blown off first damage to my tank all battle uh, but it looks like they've stalled uh, the attack they pretty much just ran into a hail of bullets and the tank's doing all the work really uh, my infantry aren't really engaging them or well, some of them are uh, so the vehicle is kind of on, on, the, on the retreat really we've got a few guys here uh, a couple of RPG guys but they're always a danger but um no, their attack's stalled. There's still quite a few of them out there, though. So we've got a... Got a pretty safe position, I'd say. I'm not sure where I'd be if it wasn't for that tank, though. I'll say that much. Ah, these guys are bored. They're probably smoking uh, hashish by now and uh, listening to Jimi Hendrix, which is what I might do. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. It looks like the AIs, yeah, they're all gone. Viet Cong lost and I won. It was a good battle that though. Um, but yeah, it was really just a little test of the game. Uh, it wasn't a, wasn't a mission I spent a lot of time working on, frankly. Uh, I like this game, but if I'm honest I think I will st stick really to Men of War Assault Squad more but I will continue making Vietnam missions because hey I bought the game stay tuned for more vids